What's up guys? Welcome back to The Smart Student. My name is Chelsea Seaburn. What I wanna do today is introduce you guys to peer reviewed journal articles. And so the reason being is that as a college student, it's really important to know what a peer reviewed article is and how to find peer reviewed articles. And that's exactly how I'm gonna structure this video. First, we're gonna cover exactly what it means to be a peer reviewed article. And then I'm gonna teach you how to find them. So what qualities to look for and different places to actually find them in. All right, so let's start with the first thing. What is a peer reviewed journal article? Well, simply put, peer reviewed refers to the process that the writer took to publish that article. So the way I like to describe it is that a peer reviewed article is an article written by an expert that is then reviewed by other experts in that same field. And in that same field is very important because essentially these researchers are determining the credibility of that article and if it fits into that discipline of information. So some of the things they're looking for is, is the information accurate? Does it make sense? Are reasonable conclusions drawn? How about the validity of the research and the different experiments and the list goes on and on. So the reason peer reviewed articles are so important to college students is because well, they're gonna be the most credible of all sources. So when you see the phrase peer reviewed on an article or a source, think of that as a stamp of approval that that source is credible, that the research is valid and widely accepted. And so just to make a quick note, general editing does not go towards peer reviewed. Peer reviewed is a review of the content, the substance of the literature, whereas general editing goes from a grammatical standpoint. So just keep that in mind. But now let's move on to some of the qualities to look for. In other words, what are the components of a peer reviewed article so you can start to recognize them? And it's very important that I know that as I list these qualities out, please know that just because an article has a few of them doesn't automatically make them peer reviewed. However, it's important you know what the qualities are because this is gonna help your process of being able to spot them and weed out the non-credible sources sooner than later. The first thing you should look for is the author's credentials. Where do they work? Do they have a PhD? You know what? Let's do this on my computer so you can see what I'm talking about. Come with me. And here we are. Welcome to your tutorial. Okay. So the first thing we're going to talk about are those qualities, the things that you should look for to determine, is this a peer reviewed article or no, and I should move on. So I will point out first and foremost that this does say it's a peer reviewed journal. So if you see that, well, that's a pretty good indicator that that's a peer reviewed journal, but we're going to pretend that that is not there. We're reading through this article. There's a lot of good information in here. We wanna use it in our paper, but our professor specifically wants peer reviewed sources. So it's really important that this is a peer reviewed source. So a few things that you can look for to determine. Number one, go ahead and start with the author's credentials. Can you see, do they have a PDH? Is there any, any indication of where they work, where they're going to school? anything to signify that they are in upper level education, just to make sure that you're not reading, say, an undergraduate student's paper or you know, an unpublished master's paper, something like that. Here, we see that the authors do have PhDs, so right away, that's a good indicator that they're writing at a higher level, potentially a published peer-reviewed level. The next thing that you can look for are well, check to see the different sections within this article. Do you see all the traditional sections of a full-blown research paper? In other words, is there an abstract? Do you see an introduction? Is that introduction an adequate length? Moving down, what other sections do you see? Do you see a problem statement? How about a literature review? Literature reviews are really good signs that this might be a peer reviewed article because essentially this author, they're going the full, the full mile, if you will, with writing about this topic because the literature review is to determine what knowledge was already out there. And so that's there. So that's a good sign. Now you want to take a look. Is there a method section? Yes. 
How about a results, also known as a finding such section? And yes, we see that. And so we do see all of the different sections of a research paper. That's a good sign that this would be a peer reviewed article because it's written in a formal manner. Now, since we're down here at the conclusion, go ahead and browse through the references. Is there an adequate reference list area with references that look like they're formatted correctly? They're nice and neat and organized. Is there enough references to support the length of the paper? Yes, I'm going to say there is. So zooming back out, you just want to look through the literature. Do you see in-text citations to go with it? And yes, I do. You can see them in the literature review where there should absolutely be citations present going up the line. There are citations all throughout the document, so that's a good sign because it's following the standardized procedures of a research paper. Now, the last couple things you might want to look for is go ahead and check their methods section. Do you see tables, charts, graphs, numerical representations of their studies? And yes, I see a lot of that, so that's a good sign. And then the last thing is, well, how long is this paper? And now length alone doesn't determine if it's a peer reviewed source or not. But simply put, if the if the source you're looking at is two pages long, three pages long, that's probably a good sign that it's not a peer reviewed article. And one more time, it's not that these qualities make this article peer reviewed. What it does is it gives you a better eye for spotting credible sources. But now let's go ahead and change directions. Let's talk about the different options you have for specifically finding peer reviewed articles. The first option that I want to offer to you is, well, go ahead and use your online university library because I want to say that all university libraries are going to give you an option to search via peer reviewed articles or, or something along those lines. And so I don't, I'm not enrolled in a college right now, so I don't have an online university, so I can't show you that. So if you're not familiar with how to do that, you might want to ask a professor or a librarian. But what I can show you is an awesome trick that goes along with your university's library, and that is linking your university to Google Scholar. So the way you want to do this is you want to come over to the drop down menu on the left, go into your settings, see this link right here, library links, go ahead and click that. And it's going to bring you to this page. And essentially you're going to search for your university. We're going to say I went to Harvard because you know, I'm going to search for that. And there we go. Harvard university by ticking this box. And it's very important. You hit save. What you just did was link your university's online library with Google Scholar. So that's going to give you access to a wider range of articles. But for the importance of this video, it's going to help you find those peer reviewed sources. But now let's go ahead and move on to the second option at your disposal. And that is to set the database you're searching in to search for peer reviewed articles or to return peer reviewed articles. And we're going to start with Google Scholar. The method I'm going to show you is not a perfect solution, but it's pretty close. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the advanced search feature to tell Google Scholar that we want to return articles that are associated with the exact phrase peer reviewed. So it's very important that you also put in the keywords associated with the articles you want to pull up. But basically by putting in these keywords, what I'm telling Google Scholar is that I'm looking for articles that are associated with time management and college students, and they must contain the exact phrase peer reviewed. So if I hit search, as you can see, we do have our time management and college students, but we also have peer reviewed, peer reviewed, peer reviewed. Now, I do want to point out that my Harvard University note how some of these articles that did not have a PDF version option to me available, well, I could access them through my university. And that is the importance of linking your library. But as you can see, Google Scholar is returning these articles that are associated with peer reviewed. I do have to disclaim right now that it's very important that when you're using this, that when you read through each article, 
you have to determine if the article itself is peer reviewed and peer reviewed isn't coming up in that article because it's a word written throughout the article. I'm going to make that clear in just a second. I do want to show one more journal database using the same advanced search feature. Most journal databases have this feature, which is why I'm showing it to you. So now let's say we're searching on PubMed. We're going to go to their advanced search feature option as well, which is right here. And we're going to type in peer reviewed, click add. And again, what we're telling PubMed now is that we want to return articles that have the exact phrase peer reviewed. But now let's go back to what I meant by it's not a perfect solution and that you always want to inquire why peer reviewed is on that article. And I'm actually going to tie this in with my next option for you. And that is when you're reading an article, well, it's kind of common sense, but go ahead and determine if it is peer reviewed. And I'm going to show you two specific ways to do this. And the first one is to simply check the publication to see if peer review is listed next to it. And so the reason I say this is because publications, they tend to they love to announce that they're peer reviewed because it gives them that status of credibility. And so more often than not, if they are a peer reviewed journal, they're going to say that they are. And you can typically find the publication either in the header or the footer of a document. So we see right here that that is peer reviewed. We're good. Now, let's say this is the article that we returned that came up on our advanced search using peer reviewed. I don't see peer reviewed listed in the journal. Instead, peer review is listed in the title of this source. So after reading the title in its entirety, pharmacy students' intrinsic motivation to participate in electronic peer review of journal, journal articles critique assignments. So what this tells me is that this source itself is not a peer reviewed source. Instead, it's an article that's analyzing sources that were peer reviewed. That was a little confusing, but I hope that made sense into what I was saying by using the advanced search feature. Sometimes are going to pull sources that are simply talking about peer reviewed, and that's why they returned in that query. So it's always important just to go that extra mile and determine if it is indeed peer reviewed or not. But let's go ahead and move on to the final thing you can do to determine if a source is peer reviewed, and that is to simply search the publication source. And what I mean by that is let's look at another example. I'm reading through this. It looks like a peer reviewed source. I like it. I want to use it in my paper, but nowhere on here is peer reviewed listed. So I simply don't know if it is or not. And so what you're going to do is simply search for the publication, say in Google and the publication source here is science direct. And so I would quite literally go to Google and that's what I'm going to search for is science direct to see is this a peer reviewed journal or not. So if I click on this right here, peer reviewed journal articles. Great. Now I'm confident that this source is indeed peer reviewed, even though it doesn't say it. That may seem like the most simple basic tip ever. Honestly, I feel like a lot of the tips I showed you in this video are pretty simple. However, what I'm teaching you is how to spot credible sources faster so you can become a better researcher. Because you know that saying, if it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck? Well, if it walks like a peer reviewed article and it talks like a peer reviewed article, that doesn't make sense. But you get what I'm saying here is it just makes you a better researcher when you have an eye for credible sources. It stops you from wasting time reading sources that aren't credible. And so I hope you found that helpful. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. I thoroughly did. I always do. And by the way, if you really, really enjoyed it and you're looking for a way to support the smart student channel, YouTube has the awesome feature called YouTube. Thanks. It's the button right next to the like button, I believe where you're welcome to donate to the channel, buy the channel a coffee. All of it goes into creating more videos like this for you guys. As always, I'm appreciative, but with that, I believe we're done and I will see you guys in next week's video.